arguably the most famous World War II fighter for the Americans is the P-40 Warhawk. Flown originally in China by the AVG. The AVG was a volunteer group of pilots that flew against the Japanese in the opening months of World War II, flying P-40 Warhawks, the famous tiger shark mouth on the aircraft is their insignia. Everyone associates that with the P-40, although many, many P-40s do not have that, but the AVG sure it had them. John Wayne made a movie called The Flying Tigers 1941. That's why we have John Wayne sitting in our P-40 in the museum. This airplane crashed in a Florida swamp in 1945 during a training accident. And the wreckage lay there for a number of years before being pulled out piece by piece. This airplane hit awfully hard following the mid-air collision. This is the engine from the airplane that got hit. It went in almost vertically. When the tail is clipped off an airplane, the aircraft immediately assumes a vertical dive position, went straight into the swamp. The pilot not getting out of it. And the terrific forces countered by the propeller encountering even soft swamp type substrata and so on was enough to tear off one blade completely and bend the others in such a grotesque fashion. The forces I mean, the crash forces were unimaginable, and the propeller stands in testimony to that. Not to mention the crash fragments themselves. The airplane literally was fragmented. And that's the case when a, an aircraft strikes the ground that fast and that hard. It doesn't matter which fighter plane you want to use. I mean, Hellcats, P-47s, P-51s, P-40s. They were used, obviously, for shooting down other enemy, uh, enemy aircraft, whether the fighters or bombers, intercepting. The P actually means pursuit but they were also used for ground, ground attack, ground support. Constantly strafing, bombing, and strafing. Our fellows are bringing it back to life in the form of reconstruction. You are invited to come and see this at the Curtis Museum. It'll be going on for a while. It's been five years in the process, and I'm looking probably at another five years.